Let's see how we can integrate y over e to the 2y. This is a fraction. It's kind of intimidating, but it's not that bad because we can change e to the 2y on the denominator into e to the negative 2y. And then here, we can look at the original integral as y times e to the negative 2y dy. This way, uh, we can try to use a u substitution, but it won't work because the derivative of negative 2y is just negative 2. I cannot cancel out this y. So we can go try to use integration by parts. So let's begin. Let's pick something for u and something for dv. We have two things, a polynomial and an exponential function. They're equally easy to integrate or to differentiate. In that case, let's save the polynomial to be differentiated. So write down u is equal to y, and then we'll integrate the exponential part, which is e to the negative 2y, and now to attach dy. So for the u, we are going to differentiate that, so we get du is equal to dy. The derivative of y is just 1, but we attach dy to it. For the dv, we are going to integrate right here, so we get v is equal to the derivative of an exponential, e to the negative 2y, it stays the same for now, e to the negative 2y. But then the derivative of negative 2y is negative 2. We will have to divide it by negative 2, which is the same as multiply by negative 1 half. You can put this down real quick and then differentiate this real quick and you will get that back. Okay? Okay, so let's run through the integration by parts. We will have to multiply the u v together. So we'll do that. The u is the y. We will have to take the y, multiply with the v, which is this. y times negative 1 half e to the negative 2 y. We get negative 1 half y e to the 2 y. And this right here is part of the answer. And then when we continue, we will have a minus an integral. We minus an integral. The inside is going to be v. v is this. So I will put down this right here, negative 1 half e to the negative 2y. And then du, it's the same as dy. So we have dy. And notice that for this integral part, it's actually just the product of this times that. This times that. When you do diagonal, you are going to get a part of the answer. And when you do the product of a row, you are going to get the integral. And then don't forget the subtraction. Okay. So we continue. This is the part of the, a part of the answer already, so you just keep maintaining that a few more times. Here we have a subtracting an integral, and here we have a negative 1 half. We can bring out the negative 1 half, right? So negative times the negative gives us positive, and we have the 1 half. And we still have the integral, and the inside is still e to the negative 2y dy. This integral, we have to do it, and this is not that bad. It's pretty straightforward because we actually did that over there. We get negative 1 half e to the negative 2y. And as you can see, we have the positive 1 half right here times negative 1 half right here. Altogether, we of course get negative 1 over force. And so the final result after we do all this is negative 1 half y e to the negative 2y minus 1 fourth e to the negative 2y. And this right here is the antiderivative for the original integral. Okay. So now let's go over how we can do a definite integral. Namely, if the question is the integral from 0 to 1. Okay, so I'm actually going to have the numbers 0 to 1. And if you are dealing with a, uh, if you are dealing with a definite integral, all we need to do is find the antiderivative of this, which we did right here, right? And then we just need to plug in numbers plug in numbers and then do the subtraction, that's all. So, uh, technically I should still plus 0 and 1, 0 and 1, but you know what I mean already. You should always try to focus on the antiderivative first. At the end, once you get your antiderivative, then plug in numbers. Let's get to work. Plugging 1 into the y here, y here, and the y here, and this is what we have. And then we will subtract, plugging 0 into this y, this y, and that y, and this is what we have. And now we just have to do a little bit of the computations. Negative 1 half times 1 is just negative 1 half. And negative 1 
I mean negative two times one is negative two in, in the exponent. So we have negative one half e to the negative two. And here we have negative two times one, which is negative two. So altogether here is negative one fourth e to the negative two. I love this one because this part is going to give us zero. So this is zero. And then negative two times zero is zero on the um, exponent. e to the zero is one. So this part will give us negative one fourth. And um, that is, this is how we will do it. We are minusing a negative one fourth. So we will get a positive one over four. These two, because they both have e to the negative two, so we can just combine the numbers in front. Negative one half minus one fourth, it's going to give us negative three fourths. And then we maintain the e to the negative two. So this right here will be the exact answer for the integral. And we are done. So we'll box this for the answer. And as usual, this is it.